The Challenged Athletes Foundation believes that involvement in sport increases self-esteem and enhances quality of life. Thanks to a grant from CAF and to very special para-athlete mentors, a young Colorado boy is receiving the support and encouragement he needs to make strides in the pool and in life. This isn't the story of a nine-year-old boy with a deep love for swimming. Bo Gallardo's story starts with agreeing to conquer a fear of water and a fear of his legs being visible while in a swimsuit. At just 11 months old, doctors told Bo's family that he had fibular hemomelia. With the complete absence of both fibula bones and non-functioning feet, this baby boy would have to have both of his legs amputated below the knee. Learning to walk was the first step. Getting comfortable in his prosthetics, the next. Finding the confidence to be in public without them is proving to be the most challenging for this third grader. I know he wants to get into the water, he wants to become a better swimmer, but sometimes he has anxiety about other people being around. At the public indoor pool in Colorado Springs, encouragement from mom helps. But it would take two mentors who know how to overcome the mental and physical challenges of a disability. Challenged Athletes Foundation ambassadors and double amputees, Paralympic gold medalist Rudy Garcia Tolson and Kona Ironman finisher Roderick Sewell help their young friend Bo to dive right in. for me being in the water with other people like me and so for us when we get in the water it's 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 our way of, of our freedom it's, it's it's our way of shedding what we use to walk and just just be in the water and be free it feels good to throw those legs to the side and just get in the water with the, what you have you know it was really wonderful to be able to go to the pool with Bo and then see these men who have excelled at their sports swimming bicycling and they are getting in and out of the water with confidence and just to be able to see them do that and then have them willing to teach him how to swim even if he do, if he doesn't want to swim they support him they want to support Bo in trying new activities and new sports and they're willing to help with with anything to make him comfortable and um, they've really been great in that way and just being able to get around to the water it was really fun the most important part I, I want folks to understand is it's okay to be different. That he's wearing these two prosthetics, but he's no different than anybody else. And he wants to do the same things as his brother and his friends, and that's what he's going to do. We know what sports does for, for individuals. We know what it does with confidence and working with the team and, and being involved with something you love. And I think us working with Bo is just gonna expose the fact that you know, whatever sport you choose, uh, as long as you're having fun, you're gonna meet friends that are also having fun with this sport. You're gonna form lifetime relationships. It's definitely gonna bring him out of his shell. It's gonna make him wanna do and try everything. And I'm excited to see. Growing up in today's world, you know, especially with a, with a physical challenge, it can be, it can be uh, very daunting. I would say kind of similar to like when we climb a mountain, you know, it's, it's a long way up. Uh, you always need support along the way. Um, kind of need to know what's coming up and if you don't you could ask the people coming back down. You know you can look at your obstacle and think oh that's hard how can I how can I get to the top how can I accomplish this or you can change that mindset and say I'm going to get to the top I'm going to find a way I'm going to figure it out you know I tell people that we we're living with this disability but there's nothing we can't do we just have to find a different way to do it. Just to be able to, to, to just kind of nudge them along and and give them some words of encouragement uh, to be able to swim hmm. with them to me is, is, is worth more than any gold medal or any world record. If Bo says one day that he, want, he has a goal to go to the Paralympics, get out of the way, because he's gonna do it. What a story of inspiration and perspective. 
Over half of the elite athletes representing Team USA at this year's Paralympics are past CAF grant recipients. To learn more about the Challenged Athletes Foundation and how to donate or to apply for grants, visit challengedathletes.org.